Welcome back. Hashtag Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Now in the morning, the montage that you just seen there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That's the reason why we are here to have this discussion on motorsporting film business. That montage there. Mm -hmm -hmm. Graphics on point. And uh, our guest this today will be telling us more about how long it took to come up with such a montage and most definitely the editing tools that she used and more about him and the film business. Kevin Juguna is a creative with six years experience in photography, videography and production. In fact, actually he considers himself as the creation master. Hmm. Producer Kev, yes. welcome to Entrepreneurship Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle, for the host. Why do you consider yourself as the creation master? Of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I like the answer. I like the answer. And I like how uh, yeah. the way this interview is going to just turn out. Sure. Okay. First, uh, I'm, I'm not used to being in front of the lenses. Uh. Yes. I'm used to being behind. You're but consistently uh, say that. Yeah. <laughs> But I thank you, thank you mm -hmm. for the host. And um, that was just a simple montage. I just decided, I took just um, one and a half hours to make uh, it for you guys. I just like how you're composed, <laughs> telling us the time frame that you just, it was a simple graph. Just, That's what yeah, saying. a simple one. So if we give uh, you extra hours, you'll uh, come, we'll just some, blow us up. Yeah, a hot one. Okay, I'll just be humble and wait to see <laughs> what more uh, producer Kev has in store for us. So, uh, who is Kevin Juguna? Uh, before we even look at uh, the kind of work that you do, uh, give us a brief description of who producer Kev is. Okay, producer Kev, uh, that's just a, a nickname. Eh? My name is Kelvin Juguna. A young producer who hails from uh, Nyandaro County, uh, a place called uh, Oljoro Constituency in a village called Nyairoko. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but I was born in a place called Shamata. So I, I grew up as a passionate young man in filming and production. And um, so far, so good. I can't regret. Okay. Yeah. So far, so good. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. where, where did it all start, the love of film? The when did you discover you, are, you have passion for this? The love of film started uh, started in um, in 2005. Mm -hmm. I was in primary school by then, and um, I was so passionate about music. Mm -hmm. So I started. Uh, okay, first of all, my dad is an artist. Okay. Yeah. So there was something that happened. He came all the way to Nairobi. Eh? and uh, left us in the village. You know, he was in person, eh? So he came to Nairobi and shot a music film, video that is, eh? and came back to the village. I couldn't relate how, uh, how am I seated next <laughs> to my dad? <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm seeing him on the screen. How does this happen? So I started being passionate and then, um, I started as a pianist by then when I was in primary school all the way to high school. In high school I was uh, in the drama club and uh, the music club so the passion went up and up and up until when I was, uh, <laughs> something happened when I entered the campus level. Okay. I entered the campus to, to learn as an information technologist, okay. ICT. Eh? Mm -hmm. And then on the first week I realized eh, I'm in the wrong career, the first week. In the first week? Yeah. Okay, before you even go further <laughs> yeah. on matters pertaining film, mm -hmm. what made you feel so confident enough <coughs> to be sure that this is not my place, this is not it? Um, because, eh, um, I used to I used to to love how how media station worked, and our ICT class was adjacent to the media class. Okay. In campus, eh? mm -hmm. so uh, during break time I was not in the ICT room. Mm -hmm. I was in the media room. You're kidding me. Yeah, for real. 
for real. <laughs> and uh, actually, I decided to shift. Okay. Um, despite I learned ICT all the way to, to the end, uh, but immediately after I finished, I don't know even where my papers are. Wow. For the ICT. Story for so many young people out here. <laughs> so many of I us have done. I extremely don't know. Took, took <laughs> part in uh, a different uh, <laughs> studies and you're actually practicing something else. Yeah. So here, so here you are, you've done an ICT. Mm. Now, to the film industry. Mm. How did you learn matters pertaining film production and where did you learn all through? Immediately after graduating from ICT, uh, I entered into the filming classes and that's when my life turned around. Because uh, um, we used to go to classes, but I used to teach them. That was the funny bit. This is interesting. Yeah, okay. because I, I used to learn ahead of what we are learning. Mm. And actually, even today, even the montage that you saw, I've never, for that, I've never entered into a class. Passion and interest. Yeah, because uh, for the filming, I learned uh, about uh, the shots of the cameras and uh, such, the lenses, the, 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 the different views and focusing. But matters pertaining graphics and TV production, mm -hmm. I'm on my own. Okay, yeah. so let's look at uh, how much you got learn to learn from uh, the internet. So for you, mm. it all it was all YouTube, right? Yeah. Mm. So for someone who's interested into film industry and they feel like CJ and Ashule, and maybe they are looking at it as I'm quite limited. Yeah. Passion. If you don't have a passion, if you are not passionate about it, leave it. Okay. Yeah. How do you get, upda how do you get up updated mm. on the new trends when it comes to the film production? First, uh, I, have, um, I have a very good friend. We have never met, but I have a very good uh, tutor, an online tutor, whom we engage one-on-one. -on -one. Maybe I need a certain... Um, graphical experience, a certain graphical touch. I'm not so sure on how to go about it. And um, I'm Israel instructed. Okay. Yeah, and uh, when I'm shown something, when I'm shown how to do it, I, I go ahead and do better than what I'm taught. Okay. Yeah. Because again, you go back to yeah. passion yeah. and interest. Yeah. Yeah. Another important thing you mentioned, you've never met uh, your tutor. Yeah. So how do you guys? How did you guys connect? Mm. And maybe you can give us just a brief on how you people met. Probably if it's all there for someone okay. who is watching this and would like to um, have the same experience. You know, Michelle, it's all about. Uh, it starts from passion. When you're passionate about something, I believe God uh, God opens an imaginable doors for each and every one of us. Because um, I was just stranded online and um, I went to the YouTubes and uh, down, okay, subscribed to a certain channel and then got a link okay. to, 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 to the email of the, of the owner. And uh, that's how my life changed because I, I told him I'm passionate about something and uh, I need to achieve something okay. and uh, he was there. And uh, here I am. And that's the story. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you have six, uh, six years experience yeah. in film business, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Four years. You were we were talking earlier before this interview. Uh, you mm -hmm. were employed. Where yeah. were you employed? What were you doing <laughs> before you went onto the world to start something of your own? Yeah. Okay. I've worked uh, with several companies, media companies. That is. Uh, First, I started uh, with a company that was called uh, Drip, Drip Media, and uh, then went to Digital Media, and then went to a certain company that was called uh, Discovery World, okay. Art Skills. That when I, we shall come back to that film. Eh? Mm -hmm. 
And then lately I was in a company called Rescom Logistics. Mm -hmm. And big up to that guy. He has really helped me to achieve what I have achieved today. Why? Because, uh, you know, when someone believes in you, you believe in yourself. But when you get someone who believes in you, your life will have a turn. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I, I went there as a... Um, as a producer, as a wedding photographer, and my skills grew. He kept on encouraging me. Even when I was uh, learning online, you can still do better. Okay. Yeah. When uh, still under employment, and uh, you've mentioned a couple of uh, media houses that you got to work with, mm -hmm. it also speaks volume on the amount of experience that you've gathered along the way. Yeah. Then we have our generation, the young people who, wants, who want to get into this industry or any other industry, and they want to hear it real quick, real big. Yeah. So what exactly would be your advice for someone who wants to get into film industry with the thoughts that I'm going to bring out the best program mm. uh, in your <coughs> next TV station, if mm. it's uh, uh, online production, I'm gonna hit it big, I'm gonna you know, get the money real quick. <laughs> First, uh, production, it's not all about money because you do your best and money follows. And that's what I did. Uh, if you look the aspect of money first, um, mm. you will go wrong. Uh -huh. Because at first you'll be disappointed. I was really disappointed at first. Mm -hmm. Extremely, not really, extremely disappointed at What first. was the experience like? What happened? <sighs> Too much work, no money. Mm. And by then I had, um, I had a big name, no money. To, to an extent, uh, I could meet my friends and uh, they could say, hey, Mr. Producer, you, we saw your work online, we saw your work uh, on TV. You have nothing. Okay. Yeah. Because by then, mm -hmm. I, I, was, uh, I, I was passionate, eh? mm -hmm. but um, I was still looking for money. You're still looking but, for uh, money. But I, I had a wrong direction. Because at the end of uh, the end of it all, it's business. Yeah. And we're actually, actually looking at a uh, couple of your <laughs> projects. This yeah. is by producer Kev. Yeah. Whatever you're seeing on your screen right now. Yeah. Uh, that that was a wedding. This was a wedding. Eh? Mm -hmm. What I did. Eh? Um, I'm so passionate about TV graphics, and you can see these are uh, these are motion graphics. These are television graphics. So I try and combine my knowledge okay. in, in, in production. Eh? And uh, then I, I reciprocate the same okay. into my weddings. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look at this, it's not just a normal wedding. <laughs> it is graphical. <laughs> Very true. Yeah. Very true. So I feel great. And thank you. I love the graphics. Yeah. I love the floral uh, effects. Yeah. A nice work, producer Kev. <laughs> yeah, thank you. All right, going back to what you had mentioned earlier on, on matters pertaining experience and mm. for young people. There's this conversation that was going on, I believe, earlier this month about artists being paid through exposure. Mm. And I would just like to hear your point of view, cause, uh, because at the end of it all, film is still a creative industry. Mm. What is your thoughts on artists being paid on exposure? I think uh, the first thing uh, the government should uh, should put a, a clear a clear way out on uh, who gets what and uh, what suits who. It was, let me let me just give you a little bit of a, a, the background to the story. So mm. there was this one uh, a restaurant within mm. Nairobi that was offering a platform for uh, artists. Uh, so that they can, they can actually showcase their mm. art in mm. the restaurants, uh, considering that they have a couple of branches uh, within uh, the country. So it's an opportunity for them to mm. expose their work, and that's how they probably get jobs and everything else. So I just wanted to get. Oh, uh, yes. I didn't what get your, all the exposure yeah, yeah, from yeah, artists. Your question, Aria. Yes. Uh, that's a great uh, idea because, uh, you know. Once you, 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 you are uh, exposed in various ways, um, because for me, I have built my career due to exposure. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, uh, I could be having a lot of uh, experience in my head and uh, I could be having a lot of creativity. 
But without the experience, without someone believing in you, without someone holding your hands and um, taking you places, then so I can uh, I, I can go for that. Okay. That um, if you are passionate about about something, and on the other hand, if you are able to hold someone's hand, please do. And uh, with that, you you help ha helping a family somewhere. That's true. Yeah. Very true. Now let's get to uh, Kev Films and Creation. Four years of employment and now you've decided to go on your own to start something of your own. Mm. Tell me about the first year and uh, how was it? Huh. Okay. I once uh, settled there and uh, felt that uh, I need to go my way. Okay. And uh, that's when my life overturned to the best uh, because uh, you know when you are under someone and uh, I really thank those who whom I have worked under uh, but when you are under someone you 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 like somehow limited you have to do your best uh, but at the end of the at the end of it you you, you cannot really um, manage okay. what you have done mm -hmm. fully, 100%. So, I sat in 2018 and decided I, uh, I need to go my own way. Okay. And uh, I started, okay, the journey was tough by then. Mm -hmm. The journey was not that smooth because uh, trying to, to convince people that you are the best. To for, break through into the market. Yeah, to bring your idea into the market. Plus, uh, there is the normal way that people are used to um, to doing the, uh, the uh, events, the uh, weddings, the uh, ceremonies. I sat down and thought I can do something different. Okay. You know, yes. guys trying to uh, to understand what are you really doing? That was a challenge. Okay. And how but did you curb that before you continue? Um, I persisted mm -hmm. and I tried to show them. Uh, the essence okay. and uh, the, once I uploaded some of the works that I've done I started uh, seeing a good response from other potential clients who later became uh, real clients right. yeah those who you are seeing some of the work okay so mm -hmm. starting off uh, what are the tools of work that you had and how did you raise your capital <laughs> starting off because it's always a challenge <laughs> Uh, I never saw that coming, but uh, <laughs> um, by then I just had a very simple camera. Uh, you know, by then, uh, I bought a food, mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. but later on I, I decided um, this thing is really working, why not invest? I really saved. I know you are in the media industry, so you know our equipments are really expensive. Expensive, yes. Yeah, so I saved for, for at least almost one year. Mm -hmm. and that's when I decided I have some amount. Let me go and, um, and achieve uh, uh, some of my lenses, some of my gadgets. And uh, right alone I decided um, I, I want to move into the television graphics. Okay. So I decided I have to invest in a good computer, in a good uh, gadget. And that's how I, I made it. Okay. Yeah. I, I know you mentioned about <coughs> your fly, first clients and how you persisted just to push mm -hmm. an idea mm -hmm. of your own. Yeah. But I would like to find out for someone who is watching, for, that, for the sake of the person who is watching. Yeah. Okay, so who is looking at you right now? and wondering how did you get your first clients you know <laughs> and how do you how currently are you marketing your business also okay first uh, i achieved by i was so royal to my to my previous company mm. so royal and even the manager by then can attest so i i used to market the company mm -hmm. vigorously and um so as I marketed uh, the, the company, my name still came up. Mm. So, okay, after I decided that I can go my own, 
I never struggled that much, apart from the convincing bit. I never struggled that much because already I had some confidence yeah. in my clients. Some, yeah. Yeah. And you created a name for yourself. Yeah, and I had a name. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so I went uh, step by step, um, and within within four months, let me tell you, I had. Uh, I had an impact. Okay, I believe you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I believe you. Yeah. So when you look at when, uh, when we look at Kev Films and Creation, mm. you do a, a couple of a lot of things, and also music production mm, is yeah. one of them. Maybe yeah. you could tell us uh, kind of services that you offer apart from that. Um, uh, producer Kev Visuals and Films. Uh, I, okay, first I'm the director, so I hold everything that. Uh, the clients need you see so i i don't base my my confidence on what i know okay. but uh, at least i try to listen to my clients um i i offer various various aspects of uh, services starting from the weddings photography and video and um, other ceremonies and now into music Music, I'm not, uh, I'm not, I'm not that old in the music industry. <laughs> that came maybe around six months ago. Okay. Yeah, so I decided uh, the knowledge that I have, I can, I can do some music, okay. and uh, they are doing good. All right. Yeah. What What is the niche? What's your niche in the market? Considering we have so many other film uh, mm. companies out here, mm. uh, what's your niche in the market? Um, my main, my main thing that I, that has really kept me in the market, mm -hmm. and I can confidence, confidently say that, graphics. Graphics. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because may it be a wedding, may it be music, I, I think uh, your producer have some of my music that I have done. They are graphical. So, with that, uh, I feel... I feel safe. Uh, that, 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 that makes the difference between what I do and what others do. Okay. Yeah. Considering the uh, graphics, uh, they, are, they are actually required all mm, rounded when yeah, it comes yeah, to yeah. film. Mm. All rounded. Speaking about more about uh, your work, you also have done a couple of movies. <laughs> and you. <laughs> Let's look at uh, when it comes to movie, uh, the, uh, the kind of projects that you have done, and mm. probably can also mention uh, achievements related. Um, hmm. One of my main achievements uh, that gave me confidence to work in this journey um, was a movie who, which we did uh, around 2015, yes. And it became the Karasha Awards winning. And you're saying movie. it very humble in a very low Yeah, in 2015, uh -huh. the International Award. And um, thanks to, 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 to the company that uh, we worked with by then, and thanks, I was part of the crew that uh, was behind that. Uh -huh. um, the, the winner of, the, of that award was uh, was a, a certain guy called uh, Felix mm -hmm. Warutere, and uh, the director was called Dan Mutua. So they believed in me. By then, I was uh, I was a bit naive in in the industry. Oh, wow. So I went grow, growing in in bits. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, before we check out a couple of your projects or even uh, one of your uh, production when it comes to music, mm. I'd like to find out how did you get to network with a uh, uh, corporate organization to, to actually uh, make a name for yourself to later on working with the county government of Kiambu. But <laughs> starting us off networking on you getting projects in corporate organization, mm. how did you go about that? <laughs> Okay, that's a, a bit a long story, eh? because... Um, Give us a brief, brief <laughs> tips. You yeah, from to, the yeah, tips, eh? tips yeah. There's a certain guy who works under the, 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 the women rep office. Eh? He's a very good friend. What I'm getting, you should make friends. Yeah. Network with people, yes. Yeah, of course, you have to network. Yes. So, he kept on telling me, my friend, uh, I started as, as an editor, you see. 
uh, I, I used to shoot some clips with my phone by then ilikuwa kabambe yeah so and he he kept on telling me you are going places so later on he was promoted to the office and uh, I, as he worked there i also i also grew gradually in my industry so uh, he later on told me that uh, can you try something yes and i i i, I tried um, the project was called um, Kiabu Road Talent Search. Yes, it and was the Kenya Road Talent Search. Yeah, yeah, and, and actually you guys there. Yeah, it was Air DNY yeah. 255. And um, I was the man behind the graphics, the, the, the animation, the advert, yeah. So it's just uh, you doing your best and uh, God makes others believe in you. Right. Yeah. What will, what will be your advice for someone who's watching this particular conversation mm -hmm. and they want to get into maybe music production, maybe in graphics, just to major probably, what will be your advice to that particular person? Considering you say that you started with whatever you had at that mm -hmm. time, yeah. Um, okay, my advice first is uh, if you are passionate about it, eh, you don't have to have the gadgets for real. At first, you don't have to have the gadgets because maybe you can find uh, a certain job and maybe you can hire out. The first thing and the very important thing is passion and then hard work in what you do. Because uh, I know you can never believe in me, but uh, let me tell you, at times I spend sleepless nights. Why? As in at times I can spend 24 hours on Working. Working and learning. Okay. Working during the day, learning during the night. Improving on your yes. skills. Yes. And especially, I remember during this COVID, uh, this COVID uh, era, you know, we were not that busy because businesses were shattered and uh, nothing much was, was working out. I spent, I remember there was a time I spent two days sleepless learning new skills and those skills are some of those you saw here mm -hmm. those skills are some of the ones that i made your montage with yeah. we appreciate thank you very much <laughs> yeah i just decided to to make it for you all right mm. and uh, you you brought up brought out something very important during this time of covid 19 whereby young mm. people have too much time on their hands and also people who are into the creative industry maybe in film and there's not much going on in theaters mm. or just in the in most it has covid 19 has affected yeah. uh, major industries uh, within a, globally that it yeah, is sure. what is your thought on aspect of depression because you have young people who are going through depression at this time and you're speaking about you staying up <laughs> two days yeah. uh, improving on your skills where do you even get uh, where do you how do you even get motivated to do that or what drives you uh, to be up for two days to just do what you love and also uh, looking at the aspect of depression when it comes to young people and things are not going mm. uh, as they want them to go during these uncertain times? I get motivated by the fact that uh, I know and I'm sure and I'm confident COVID will not be here forever. I know by the time these things will uh, stabilize a bit, even if not fully, the industry will rise. And if the industry will rise, how will I be? I need to be better. Okay. Because I know, I know there is someone somewhere spending time to learn. So by the time everything is stabilizing, that means that um, the competition will be high. Hmm, so I need true. to secure my market. Hmm. Yeah, and of which I'm so confident by now I have. <laughs> because uh, within those three months, hmm. what I had achieved by then and what I can do by now, those are two different things. What keeps you so grounded and disciplined? Um, the fact that uh, I don't waste. I hate wasting time, I hate mm -hmm. wasting resources, and I like being focused in what I do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I surround myself with, uh, 
with guys who, 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 who teach me how to be better, not how to be worse than I was before meeting them. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Yeah. Is there money in film production? Good money. <laughs> Ah, yes. Okay. <laughs> the fact uh, that uh, I'm in the media industry, mm -hmm. <laughs> I couldn't be where I am if there was no money. But uh, I came to realize that um, money comes after discipline and hard work. Because uh, you, can be having, you can be having some amount of money, but you waste. So if you are saving to achieve something, if you are saving to, to achieve a gadget and you waste the money, mm -hmm. if you are to spend one year, how long will it take you? Wow. It will take you more. Take so more. I, I base my profession on discipline and hard work discipline and trusting in God. And hard work. Has uh, Care Film and Creation imp have any employees? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm an independent company, yeah? okay. uh, and uh, there are certain, I cannot achieve alone. Mm -hmm. There are some certain guys that uh, I work with, okay. and uh, those who believe in me. So I have a couple of photographers, I have a couple of uh, videographers. So you created job opportunities yeah, for you guys. Yeah, Alright, uh, so what are th uh, how are you guys keeping afloat during during this uh, hard economical times? Mm -hmm. When this thing started, uh, I was also somehow depressed. Because, uh, you know, as a human, there's how you, you, you plan, you plan your life. And um, I thank everyone who has been there for me. And uh, everyone who has uh, comforted me that this thing will, will come to an end. Mm -hmm. And uh, at least nowadays things are opening out. So I thank everyone who has stood there for me. All right. What a couple of, uh, couple of challenges that you guys uh, are faced for the approximately two years that you've been into business independently. <laughs> the main challenge, yeah? mm -hmm was uh, gadgets mm -hmm. because y you have a wedding to okay. shoot yes. and it's on Friday and you have to hire it's tomorrow so uh, you, you you pick your phone and uh, call the guy who hires you out and uh, are your gadgets available no what do you do stress stress type. yeah so gadgets and uh, Plus, uh, you know, by then, uh, I used to meet some clients who, who they, they believe in you, but uh, they are not willing to pay. Why? <laughs> you know, there are some stubborn guys. Mm -hmm. They are out. So you do your best, you are there. How you, do you do you that? Achieve. Um, right around, that's when I decided to come up with a... A, a good designed contract mm -hmm. that uh, I have to achieve this and you have to achieve this on your end. You're going mm. all, all the way professional all yeah, about it, yeah, yeah. which is the it's best thing journey. to do. Mm. Yes. Mm. So what's the future looking <coughs> like for the Kev Films and Creations? Uh, first, uh, uh, let's just pray that this thing, Corona thing, end. Okay. Because uh, it has really affected our business because, you know, um, other than other than um, TV graphics and production, uh, my main income comes from uh, events, photography, and videography. Mm -hmm. And now the government is here saying there is no events, uh, and uh, those events that are there, it's UE4 people should be there, you know. Yes. So those are some of the challenges. But we all we all pray that. It the end soon. Okay, mm. and get a vaccine and uh, just uh, meanwhile adapt to the new norm yeah, of sure. living. Give us a social media handle so that we can keep tabs <laughs> to, uh, with your projects and how you guys can reach out to you from back home. Um, my Facebook uh, page is uh, 
my Facebook page is uh, producer Kev Visuals and uh, my personal account is producer Kev Jugush and um, yeah, my uh, the other one is uh, IG. IG, Instagram. <laughs> yeah, my Instagram page is uh, mm -hmm. producer Kev okay. Visuals. Oh, and uh, I can also give them my number maybe to, to link up more. Mm -hmm. Is at zero seven one nine seven two nine zero zero five. Give us the number again. Zero seven one nine seven two nine zero zero five. I'm looking for, for business. I'm looking for you for <laughs> outdoor <laughs> photography. Sure, please <laughs> <Yes>. do. <laughs> thank you for creating time to be with us for this again. Yeah, thank you, and uh, I appreciate. Thank you for for the host all right and uh shout out to you everyone who trusted in me yes my family my mom and dad in Yoruru, i know they are watching my family my wife and uh shout out know. to you, all of you yeah everyone <laughs> thank you okay <laughs> thank you very much you guys back at home remember you can follow us across all the social media platform that is at y254 channel at Michelle Ashira is where you can reach out to me. Right now, I'll be going for a short musical break and we'll be right back with another interview.